Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about the turbocharger. So, what is a turbocharger? The turbocharger is basically made of the two impellers. First one is the turbine, another one is the compressor. Generally, we use the radial turbine and the compressor is a centrifugal compressor. Both the impellers are coupled with a shingle shaft. Means when we space the turbine, the compressor also rotates because of the coupling. So. We all know about the fourth stroke of an engine. In the fourth stroke of the engine, the exhaust gas is extracted from the outlet wall. And this exhaust gas is goes to the turbine. And turbine starts spinning. When the turbine is spinning, due to the coupling, compressor also starts spinning. Uh, in high RPM, when the compressor starts spinning, it sucks the high amount of the air from the atmosphere. When it sucks the high amount of the air from the atmosphere, then it compresses that air, means, some more, uh, this means pressure is increases. So, when it increases the pressure, means temperature also increased. So, the high pressure, tem uh, the high pressure and temperature gas has a low content of the oxygen. And you, do, you don't want to send a less amount of the oxygen into the cylinder because the combustion is less due to the less oxygen hence you need the high amount of the oxygen and dense air into the cylinder so you send this air into the intercooler which is also called a charge air cooler where the air is somewhat dense about more dense and uh, it, can, it, uh, it again contains the high amount of the air with the oxygen then this air is go, uh, going to the uh, cylinder chamber where the perfect combustion takes place. After that again exhaust gas is formed and this goes to the turbine and this process is runs. So this is the basic of the turbocharger. So the, here we, uh, we have uh, two more things. First one is the waste gate, another one is the blow off wall. So wait, waste gate. The waste gate is generally used for the high boost of a cylinder. When the high amount of the exhaust gas is present in the turbine uh, turbine chamber, then at that time the waste gate opens, and some some amount of the exhaust gas released from uh, release from the waste gate into the exhaust pipe, and then uh, uh, with the help of the waste gate, the high boost is gained. Same blow off wall when the excess air is present in the pipe then the blow off wall opens and uh, some amount of the air is removed from the pipe and uh, uh, and the required amount of the air is sent to the cylinder so when we uh, when we use a turbocharger the high amount of the temperature is generated into the turbocharger so, in order to reduce the temperature of the turbocharger, we need some cooling. So, there is a oil inlet and oil outlet. From here, oil is continuously in, uh, continuously in the turbocharger and uh, out from here. Uh, it reduces the temperature of the turbocharger through which the turbocharger works properly. So, finally, we know, the, we know how the turbocharger works. With the help of the turbocharger, we increase the volumetric efficiency of the engine. With the help of the high amount of the uh, fresh charge is sent to the cylinder. With the help of the turbocharger, we increase the volumetric efficiency. Thank you. If you like this video, please uh, please like this and subscribe more and more. Thank you.